Hello guys, welcome back to Comic Book Cafe, and this time we're reviewing Book of Dead, uh, The Fall of Ninjax, 001, as they call it. Uh, just like the Bloodshot, uh, Fall of Bloodshot, this was also to me a very interesting book. Uh, I like the artwork in this book, I like the writing in this book, because this is basically meant to show you the end. So, well, at least Bloodshot, I'd see, and we'll talk about that later with this book. So, this book starts off 100 years from now in Leeds, England. You find out that the Second Armor Hunters War had, had happened, uh, and that uh, basically wiped out most of Leeds, England, that they had come after Unity, that after the Hunters left, there's basically very few or people, anything to protect the Earth, and... Ninjax is very older, and even though he survived the war, he's not the same. His whole arm is missing. It's like a steel bone, kind of big with a ball in it. Somehow he fights with the sword with it somehow. Uh, anyway, he no longer uses technology of any kind. He kind of says he feels free without, he feels free without technology in this book. Uh, and then he sees little spiders approach. Uh, mechanical spiders, and he fights them, and then you find out Livewire shows up. Now, Li Livewire uh shows up and uh you know comes to him as a courtesy to tell him that uh you know japan basically had been wiped out you know uh, since the uh fritz uprising the fritz uprising again we can see a lot of history that not necessarily has happened yet uh fritz uprising happened where uh silku had many years ago created his own uh robots i guess created his own robots uh and the they, you know, blamed him for their existence, and they basically wanted to wipe him out, and I guess he had gotten to where the Fritz were, and they went after him, and whatever weapon he was working on, and something happened, it destroyed half of Japan. So, Livewire has decided to, to, she's built her own, like, artificial intelligence and she's going to build, uh, make Japan a ship, and she's going to take it to space. Uh, so that she says it's free of this world and the war and all the stuff that goes on. Uh, okay, so then we see Ninjax, and we find out about what, Harda, who's, I guess, her partner, uh, I guess another robotic person. And then we see Ninjax basically say, no, I will not uh, support you, agree to you. I will stop you from doing this. This is going to wreck the uh, ecosystem, this is going to hurt the environment, this is going to hurt people, you're not going to do it, and I'll stand against you. She's like, and then, how can you stand against me all alone? And then we see a flashback. It's been him with the Eternal Warrior, uh, finishing uh, this battle, and basically Eternal Warrior tell him he's going to be going away, and he's not going to be coming back soon, and that uh, he'll, you know, that Ninjak's going to have to protect the Earth, but don't be afraid, don't do it alone, you know, have friends, uh, teach your stuff to other people. And uh, Eternal Warrior had to go teach, I guess, uh, these people like the new generation the right way, I guess, because he's the only one. Anyway, that flashback led to, we flash back to where they are. And we see Ian Jax goes, I'm not alone. And you see all these students, they just pop out, like hundreds of students pop out everywhere. <laughs> And uh, he's like, we're going to stop you. And she goes, you can't stop it. And then he calls, what was it? Gin Gur Gin Gr, which is the last of Unity, uh, who decided to stay to Earth instead of being with the race. Uh, and he's like, he goes in it. And she goes, you still can't stop. He goes, I'll, we'll stop you. And he, he takes off into space to go after him. And, you know, the people, uh, all the students are like cheering. Anyway, uh, you know, you see a little flashback of Eternal Warrior again, uh, talking about stuff. Uh, and then he, he goes up there and stops uh, New Japan, even though it's going to be this, he tells the young this is going to be this, I'm sorry. And, and you know, what's to be sorry? You're, you're you know, keeping a promise. Uh, and he stops it, and you see him basically fall uh, to Earth. And then at the very end, this ship, materializes and that's how it ends so a bit unlike a bloodshot a very like okay the ship materialized are we ever going to see what happens next so is ninja actually dead 
We never see him actually hit the ground or anything. We never actually see him die. So is he really dead? Are we going to get issue two of this? Uh, I actually like this book overall. It's really interesting because it's the future. You don't know a lot that has happened over the hundred years. And you only know a little bit of it. And, uh, you know, you see that Ninjax is now alone. And they still trying to protect the Earth. He with his old body. You mentioned that uh, for the last 20 years, the only human fighting was his cancer cells in his body. So, if you want to see a really old Ninjax, then this is for you. Again, so far, the Valiant I've read, the new Valiant, it's been really good. And it's a shame more people don't read them because those books are actually really, really good. Uh, and this book is really good. So, uh, if you haven't read Ninjax at all, uh, the new Ninjax is actually really good, though I haven't reviewed it very much. Uh, and this, this so far, you know, this and the Bloodshot uh, Book of Dead books have been really good. And if you haven't bought this one or the Bloodshot, you really should check them out. Uh, I really did enjoy these books. This is a book where you don't have to know anything about Ninjax. You don't. You can just sit there and read it as a story, begin to end, and say, about this is a guy who survived, for, been around for 100 years, 100 years in the future, he's been around, and he's been protecting the Earth. And the little stories in it, uh, of other characters and stuff help fill it all in pretty much it all in you know uh, you don't necessarily have to know about unity or anything you just read the story as a story and it was a really good story anyway what do you guys think about following injects what do you think about value in general the new value again it's overlooked but it's writing and it has been really really good and so if you ever get a chance you should definitely check it out maybe this book of the dead be the time for you to jump into it but anyway Love to hear your guys' opinions on the Fallen Ninjax, what you think of it, uh, what you think of the Book of Jet Death in general. Love to hear your guys' opinions, and I'll do another review soon. Later, guys.